Hi, I'm Jacob Mills, a level designer in 2020, doing a video for a Game of Week project that I made in 2014. Unity Web Player has been defunct for a while now, so these videos are providing a quick look instead of the playable online versions. Um, so this is week 5, so I was halfway into my 10 week Game of Week run. Uh, I'll, I'll dive in so that you can see it in action because it's going to take a while. Uh, you may recognize the kind of makeup of this game. It's based on Breakout or Arkanoid. Uh, but the twist, which hopefully is already obvious, is that it's all kind of physics based. So Unity 2D came with Box 2D, uh, the physics engine, um, and I believe it still does. And I'd done a couple of projects using that already, so um, some of my previous projects were a kind of Angry Bird, Flappy Bird mix slash ripoff, which utilised the physics, and um, last week's week four was a basically a game where I shot a bunch of hats out of the air and the hats were all just physics based. Uh, so I wanted to do something more with that and I I can't remember how I had this idea if, if it was the plan or if it uh, just came to me. Um, but I really like it. So you can see I'm kind of stuck in a loop at the moment of trying to <laughs> launch the ball up and catch it without it uh, getting out of control. Um, so you see I do have lives here, but I'm just going to cheat and press G to put god mode on so that I don't die, so that I don't reset, because that's pretty punishing. Uh, and it's definitely something I would change. I would also have made this first level simpler. Uh, fewer blocks, that's something I've learned in my five years in industry, is that less is more sometimes. Uh, I like, I've got this tooltip uh, function here, which shows you what the blocks are, which is you know, alright, especially for a... a game that I made in a week. And compared to my other projects, this game has multiple levels as well which I'm pretty proud of, um, and I remember being proud of at the time. So my genius idea to expand on the game design in the second level is that instead of having to break, uh, hit the bricks once, which was already you know, a pain, now you have to hit the green ones twice. Uh, so yeah, if I was to change this now, I would change the intro, I would make the onboarding a lot easier. Few, fewer blocks would be fine, I think, 2014 Jacob, I think that I think that would be fine. You can see something else that I did as well, um, which is give the paddle the ability to wobble, so that's on the A and the D keys. And the reason for that is because when the paddle is just flat, and I can show you this now because I've got God Mode on, it's pretty easy for the ball to kind of slide around and you can't really direct it. Uh, but you, doing this allows you to catch it and direct it better, which is good. Oh ball did get stuck there, uh, but it has a function to get unstuck, so I'll have to show you that later. Um, but yeah, if I was to do this again, maybe I'd just make the paddle uh, more like a cup or a bucket. Uh, give it a couple of curved edges so that you uh, don't need to um, spend so much energy kind of catching the ball and not letting it roll off. So you can see that, you know, if I had been constrained to my five lives, I would have lost ages ago and been sent back to level one, which is also super harsh. Um, but yeah, so in the third level, we introduced dark blue blocks, which are basically other blocks can only be hit by the ball. These blocks can be hit by anything, including other blocks. Uh, so if I was going to do this again, I'd probably replace the first level with all these dark blue blocks because watching them fall down is super cool and satisfying. Uh, I do remember as well, I'm trying to take advantage, that the kind of pro technique was to launch the ball at the top and try and like get <laughs> get the um, the blocks to kind of cascade down from there. Uh, so if I, again, if I was to revisit this game, I would make the levels with fewer blocks and more of these kind of patterns to encourage you or encourage the ball to slide down, so think of it more like Peggle. Thinking of Peggle, that's probably a big inspiration for this game because I love Peggle and uh, I really loved it back then. You can see that the blocks aren't on a grid or anything, I just hand placed these in the Unity level editor. So while they're all kind of uniform for now, they can be angled uh, and they will be in later levels. I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to cut this video so that it's not so long so that you can see each of the levels. 
um, and I will explain the new blocks as we encounter them. So in level 4 we get introduced to orange bricks which require very forceful hits. I had forgotten all about this. So I'm sure that'll be really fun. Um, and you can see here that I'm taking advantage of the angles I was talking about in the previous level. Uh, so I'm going to break through. Something I did, uh, which I still think is a good decision, is kind of make the ball not just a solid colour, but give it that pattern, kind of like a crash dummy. And that lets you see its rotation, uh, which ends up being very helpful. Uh, you can see that the um, field is broken up as well into half, like the paddle can't go into the top half past this dotted line. Uh, and a final thing that I'll say before moving on is that I really love how weighty the ball is and how the player's cursor exists, but the paddle actually has a kind of max speed, you know, so you can't you can't be ridiculous, right? It, it is constrained, but it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel bad to play. You know where you're aiming and you know where the paddle is, and when you see the ball land on it and it goes down like that. I don't know, I just think that feels pretty satisfying. I think that's nice. Um, if I'd had more time, you know, I could add more juice. You know, just make everything pop more. Oh, you can see that the uh, those orange bricks go lighter the, the closer they are to death. That's pretty good. And the green bricks do the same, so that's some nice universal language. I quite like this game. I, I don't want to toot my own horn. It feels weird to me because, you know, these are six years old. I feel like a completely different person now. But, uh, yeah, I quite like it. Okay, I'll finish this one up and then move on to the next level. So here are pink bricks, which only fall if hit by another brick, uh, until there are no uh, no bricks left at all, uh, which is obviously going to happen. Some people are going to hit uh, everything apart from those pink bricks. Uh, so in combination with those blue bricks, this should actually be pretty fun, and you can see I've got some level design going on here. Oh, look at that, they react as well. That's great. Everything's kind of stuck to its origin position. Um, so here, you know, we've got these and we know that the pink bricks will... So if I was going to do it again, maybe I'd try and tutorialize that without words and just let it be obvious in a level and then do this level. Um, because once a brick hits it, they should all come falling down. There we go. And of course, with the pink and the blue bricks, you can just pick up bricks as they fall and chuck them at the other bricks, which is great, uh, but it only works for the types that are hit by other bricks. Uh, okay, well that's pretty cool. Um, nothing more in this level. Okay, so now we've kind of been introduced to most of the brick types, so things just start getting a bit more fun here. Um, so yeah, I can't can't hit those bricks down with the ball. As you can see, it's making a fun face. So maybe I would have done this as the intro level instead of the last one, just to teach players how those bricks work. So yeah, remaining levels, I believe, are just variants using the same bricks. So a lot of the pink bricks, the challenges getting the other bricks to dislodge so that you can use them to take it out and the more you play the kind of better you get at juggling these things so here we go look if I can use that if I can literally catapult the uh, other blocks into the uh, blocks that are affected by blocks that's fun that's cool So level 8 is pretty cool, and it's really utilizing the idea of the pink blocks and the blue blocks. So the pink blocks can only be hit by other bricks. There's only one other brick in the level. The entire thing here, it's more like a puzzle than anything else, is trying to get the ball through to hit that blue brick. Oh, I already died. Um, yeah, I definitely think that the uh, 5 life limit per level is very harsh. Right, go. There we go, look. 
oh, and the whole thing comes. Ah, oh. so now we're out of the bricks. So now the pink bricks should just um, let the ball hit them. Yeah, there we go. So this is level nine. Um, as you can see, it's just up in the the complexity really, and playing with the block types that I made. This is also prime fodder for the ball getting stuck. So we'll probably end up seeing the defences that I put in for that. And at last we're in level 10 and it's all pinks so this is really about dislodging these orange blocks and then kind of juggling the blocks and the ball yeah, it's already messed up there. Oh no, the ball is stuck. So when the ball gets stuck, uh, you can press space to nudge it. If the ball gets really stuck, uh, I put in a kind of three strikes and you're out system. So we should see that in a moment. That's the third one. I remember putting quite a lot of effort into making sure that I really did, did you know, know when the ball was stuck and give players the opportunity to get it unstuck because uh, in test runs, uh, the ball got stuck quite a few times, and there we go. That's block, and that's the game. Boom, congrats, you beat all 10 levels. So that is a physical breakout. Um, if you want to try it yourself, you can download the build from jacobmills.co.uk. Thanks for watching.